the Corsu Duo E4600. This chip, this CPU is quite old, should you still buy it? Is it still worth the time in, you know, casual tasks like, for example, web browsing, light gaming, text editing, or like just browsing through the US? Is it still worth anything these days? Well, we'll look at it today and your questions will become answers. going to look at the Core 2 Duo E4600. I needed this thing because I needed something to just have a little cheat sheet when I'm making these videos. I don't need a powerhouse, so I was like, hmm, what is the oldest PC that actually looks decent on a desk? This actually was in my closet for god knows how long and it actually wasn't too dusty. We'll try to attach some footage at this moment. It actually worked, so the only thing holding this thing back just a little is hard drive. It's a 40GB WD Caviar, if I'm not mistaken, so a really old hard drive. But actually, it is still, for being such an old hard drive, it is still snappy. So the things we'll look at with this PC, browsing through the OS, just general going into Explorer, copying a file, opening something like, like a folder. Casual web browsing is also something we'll look at. These PCs, you know, people say, oh, install Linux and everything will go snappy. No, actually not. The web browsing experience, I'll tell you this, on Linux is shit for this thing. I don't know why. It seemed to, you know, have a bad video card driver. I don't even know, but we're keeping it with Windows 7, by the way, for this system. But casual web browsing, that means going to a new site, opening... Google, Googling for images, those kinds of things. Video streaming is something really important. We'll take a look at it, just because it's like a main thing people do these days. They go to YouTube, which is something I do, of course. They go to their favorite YouTuber and they just look at the video. And the last thing I'll try, and which is something I don't think will work, but it might, it might surprise me. And I'm going to try to play a couple of games on this thing. We'll get Quake 3 Arena and see if it runs. Probably it does, but I'm not quite sure yet. Then we'll try playing Minecraft. Oh, the God loved game. Just because, you know, because everyone does it, let's try to play Minecraft. Will it play Minecraft? So yeah, that's it, let's begin. Okay, so starting off, here we are at the screen of the PC. This indeed is a Core 2 Duo E4600. Here it is, it is a Core 2 Duo E4600. We will start off by just casually browsing through the OS, basically opening stuff, leaving a couple things open, going to my local disk, opening a couple things. And by the looks of things, it is really snappy, so I'm not noticing major delays or, you know, and just opening things and it actually, it is snappy. I'm noticing it sometimes slows down a little amount, but come on, this is an old chip, so browsing through the US, it gets a solid pass. It doesn't, you know, crash, it doesn't stutter too much. Opening a text editor and actually closing CDBurner XP, otherwise that would make no sense. There we go. Okay, so actually opening Apache OpenOffice, I will do it again just to show it, it is actually snappy. So I did open this a couple times before, but look at that. It probably couldn't be any faster than this. But that's, that's, you know, that's when you know the PC is not, you know, completely written off yet. So let's open a text document and let's, uh, you know, you know, layout. Still fiddling around with the layout a small amount, just to see how much it can take and what it is will actually decide to crash or just keep going, which if it keeps going after a couple of color changes, I think we can say pretty much for a million percent sure. <laughs> like we can say this works. I text writing, open office, a solid pass. The next thing we'll try, it's gonna be casual web surfing and web browsing. So let's just open Google Chrome. We're at the homepage, like the Chrome homepage or like, you know, about that. So we can enter google.com hopefully it goes. Yep, there we go. So that's fine. Going to Google, no, no problem whatsoever. So it goes at a, at a really decent speed. Opening this license agreement which you have to accept. So let's search for, I don't know, everybody looks for cute cats. Let's look for a couple images. So images, looking for those is actually no big deal. So damn cute. 
So looking for these images, no big deal. Maybe going to a new site. I know CNN has a very, very sloppy site and it's actually really slow. So let's go there and see how it performs. I already noticed it's a bit less responsive. Let's go to Poland, welcomes thousands of US troops. Let's open that site. There we go. Um, yeah, I agree, sure. So it is doable, but this site, it's like, I think it's notorious for being slow. So it is a bit on the slow side. So I think if you use an ad blocker on this site, like turning it off on the rest of the site, since you know, that's where they make good money. So oh, it's becoming really unresponsive. It's becoming very, very unresponsive and it's stopped responding. It's not, yeah, oh, there we go. So it's doable, but it runs way too much at the same time. So you can read this side with it. Actually, it's, it's not recommended, I would say. So it is doable, but it's also, you know, really bogging the system down. It takes a bit of time, but it is doable. So that's also doable for the casual web browsing. Okay, so doing one or two more tests on internet surfing stuff. We are going to stream some video of YouTube, starting off with 144p, which is the lowest YouTube can go. And in my eyes, nobody uses it, but be the judge. I turn off the music since I don't even know. So 144p full screen, it's fine. Not too bad. When it opens an edge, you lose a couple frames. So that's, that's okay. Bumping it up a notch to 240p. Still quite smooth. Missing a couple frames, but you know, the usual again. 360p. Still doable. Still smooth enough to watch. Going to 480p. Which I think will be the limit of the system. I am not sure, but we will find it out. Doable, for sure. Going to 720p, 60fps, which might show its age. Yes, here it's really showing its age. This bogging down, it is being a bit laggy. I would say even like not really fun, funny to watch and a bit annoying, I would say, even to watch. So let's open. Okay, it buffered. So now it's actually going without too much of a problem. Yes, now it's actually fine. So once the video has loaded in and uh, the layout has disappeared, it's actually more or less fine. So then going to 1080p, 60 frames per second, which I am really not sure whether it's gonna like this or not. No, it doesn't like it even close. Okay, so after having a gigantic failure installing Quake 3 Arena and not even a being able to install The Sims 1, 2 or 3 on its hard drive since all of them complained about space. So the only thing left is will it run Minecraft, which I don't even know if it will or not. So Okay, so it is, it is installing, downloading the files at what I consider good rate. But I think that's more to do with my internet connection. We actually got an error. This system is perfect for all kinds of tasks, but it's not up to the task for gaming. Okay, so after all the testing I've done on this system, I've come to this conclusion. It is an okay system if you have a relative, a family member, a bit most likely an older family member or something that is not yet in the digital age, you know, <laughs> stone age. Um, and it's, you know, a starter PC, so one he or she can start off with and, you know, begin learning with. Things I didn't say clearly in this video were that this system is porting 2 gigabytes of DDR2 memory. It's running on Intel GMA, so Intel Integrated Graphics. It's not using any dedicated GPU. At the back, it does have my specific system, so probably yours if you're using, for example, a Dell or like whatever. Since I'm not talking about the Lenovo, I'm just talking about the chip and how it performs. So my specific one that I use at this moment has a DVI out and it's inside the PCI Express slot. So I do have some sort of digital like output 
which is nice. That's about it for now. I hope you all enjoy this new style of video. I put a lot of effort and time in these videos. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe and leave a dislike if you hated it.